Hey, what's up everybody? I am Casey the Hungry Realtor coming to you every single week to help you keep the kitchen the center of or the heart of the home. And this is Lisa Rouse. She is a Bruce. local Oh, Ruth. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um, I guess that's Everybody Ruth's does that. <laughs> it looks like it looks kind of like Rouse. Um, no, no, Rousey. Rousey. Yeah. Oh, Rousey. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I was like, "Call you that." So, uh, she owns a gift and home decor mm -hmm. and they have a couple Gifts. of Gifts. Yeah. Yeah. Um, store shirts, Lace shirts. Shirt and shirts just came in here in Quinlan, Texas. Yes. And um, so her and her husband are co-owners. That's right. And you're also a teacher. No, no. I'm, I'm an administrator in okay. Richardson ISD. Okay. I oversee all of the after-school programs, similar to ACE in Quinlan, and our adult education programs that we have. In Richardson. Nice. Okay. So um, if you need an adult educator. <laughs> Let yeah. her know. We were actually just brainstorming on some stuff a little bit earlier, so um, that's why we're running late. We got to talking. <laughs> that's okay though, right? Uh, hey, Parish, how are you? That's actually my pastor. Um, oh, hi, it, the lady pastor. Um, and so tonight we are making chicken enchilada <laughs> soup, and this is something that she carries in her store as a seasoning mix, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. And then so you just add a few ingredients mm -hmm. to it. And she also brought some other things from the store to show you. And then I'm gonna do some cheese or some veggie quesadillas. I'll do some just Yum. cheese ones for the kids because they don't eat veggies <laughs> no, ever. No, what kids do. Um, and then um, I, I'm also gonna make some guacamole to go with oh, yeah. the um, quesadillas tonight. Oh, that'll be so, good. So uh, before we get started, I'm gonna do the drawing for last week. <clears throat> And the giveaway for last week was, um, it's a devotional that I'm reading called The Attitude Antidote. So I sometimes struggle with my attitude, and this has really helped me um, realize that I'm not always nice to the people that I love the most. Mm -hmm. So um, <laughs> I'm, I'm still working on it. I'm not perfect, but hey, I'm getting there, right? So um, let me grab my computer really quick, and let's see. Let's see who's going to win. <clears throat> Alexander, you're oh, not watching, but um, she actually won a couple weeks ago too. So, and her gift's still in my car, so I'll give that to her when I see her. <laughs> oh, well, congrats! <laughs> um, all right, so do you want to show them what is going into this yes. soup first? Yeah, and let me tell you what I love. This is these are called Mad Dash mixes, and they're six dollars at our store. But um, and if any of the folks that I work with are watching, if you'll comment because. I, uh, I got a second batch in for the store after I went to market and I took them all up to work and they bought them all. So we have very little left. So I've got to order another batch, but uh, they love them because they're so quick and everybody's so busy and they have kids and yeah. you go into this practice and that practice. So when I got these back, they said, oh, you've got to bring more because they're so easy. And then also Kimberly uh, gave, from work gave me some ideas on what you can do to some of these mixes because that's what she did. The, this one that we're going to do tonight is cheesy chicken enchilada mix uh, or soup. And we're going to do it exactly like it says to do on the back. Okay. But nice. what she did was she used, uh, we're going to use chicken. She added some pasta and she added some hamburger meat and her husband loved it. But we're going to go by the actual recipe. Yeah. So this calls for a can of tomato sauce, uh, one cup of cold water, four cups of whole milk, and uh, some rotisserie chicken. And I've got a, I got a laugh. Can we talk about the canned? Yes. Stuff. Okay. Yes. Um, my husband will know this because I'm not a canned meat kind of person. Too. Oh, he is. Yeah. He Hi, David. Too. Hi, David. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, she she was telling me she goes. I, I was telling her what was going in the recipe, and it says canned chicken or a rotisserie chicken. So she goes, so I'm not really into canned meat. She goes, so is it okay for you to rotisserie? And I was like, oh yeah, I'm so on board with that. My husband always makes fun of me because he I I just don't like a lot of canned meat because there's yeah. something. And that should be something. Y'all comment. Y'all tell us. Tell us, do you eat canned meat? Yeah. Do you if you do, we're going to judge you. <laughs> Very much so. <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to sound snobby, but I just don't eat it. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. And I don't know what it is because I ate it a lot when I grew up and maybe that's yeah. what it was. But uh, there's something about something that was meat sits in a can for yeah. that long. I don't know. And everybody eats it. And My mom used to make spam with like macaroni and cheese in it. 
And you know, you talked, we were talking about Wolf Brand Chili or any kind of chilies yes. that are in a can. And when I go to a, a football game or whatever, I'll go and get a hot dog knowing it comes out of a can. So it doesn't bother me there. I do, I do can, like I'll do canned chili, but like canned chicken or like mm -hmm. potted meat. Yeah, or I can't do that. Anything that's like or Viena sausages. <laughs> My kids love those. It's so I can't disgusting. Do it. I can't. But so yes. Um, so if you eat potted meat or canned meat, I guess that's the same thing to me. Like I don't, I'm not gonna <laughs> eat it. the cans. <laughs> um, Let's keep then it. let us know, and so we can judge you together. <laughs> yeah. Um, but go ahead and comment. Can you read that? I can't read that for me. I can read it. Yeah, I have my contacts in. So there was a, a while I was putting the thing way back there, so I'd be like this in there. We'll see how you see that. <laughs> it, it's very, um, what, especially when they um, pop up, I, it, I'll see what it says. Oh, okay. But sometimes good. I just get back to them later. Oh, well, you know, yeah. Because I don't, like, I don't really have a whole lot. Of, so she's pouring, you're pouring. Now I've put the tomato sauce in. I just put four cups of cold of milk. milk in there. Okay. And I've got to add a cold, uh, and it says cold, one cup of cold water, and then I'll add the mix. And then after it simmers a while, we'll add the chicken. Okay, so let me go grab my, my pan for my... Um, over here. And in a minute, can I tell them we're, we're going to have an appetizer oh, of yeah, sorts. Yeah. Uh, I also have this, um, we have some jellies that we just started putting in the store. Oh, hold on, you can't see me. <laughs> I love, I, I went out looking for candied jalapenos because my former neighbor, Valerie, if Valerie's watching, say hi. Uh, but she loves candied jalapenos, and so I kind of got hooked on Kelly candied jalapenos. Yeah. So that's what I went looking for. But I found jalapeno jelly, and then I love these things. They're called hot diggity deals. They're just different. Like spicy. Yeah, vehicles. they're spicy. Yeah, they just and they're they're sweet and sour with a little kick, and um, the the jalapeno jelly has that. So we're gonna have to have some of that with some crackers. Oh yeah, let me and, try uh, some. I'm excited. It's really good. Okay, so okay, you so just put you this. just put the cream cheese on there, and then you just I, put that yeah, on the top. Yeah, I let the cream cheese soften a little bit, and then um, buy whatever crackers you like. You know, you can do tortilla strips or whatever you want. Yeah. Um, and then just put that on there and that's probably too much. You know, I <laughs> no. used to, um, I used to, when I lived in Mississippi, there was this place that it was called the crown and they made, um, and you can actually order their stuff online too. And I'm not trying to like steal your thunder or anything, but <laughs> okay. they made stuff like this and they uh, sold it in their store. So mm -hmm. it was like farm. It came from, they, they had like a thing that they made it, but they like also- farm to table kind of but thing. But it was a restaurant and then right next to it, they had the other stuff that you can buy with like little books and uh -huh. paintings. It was yeah. just a cute place and I haven't seen anything like that. Yeah. Well, like that, in the history of ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, Alex. <laughs> uh, okay, I need to turn this on. Oh. Is it hot? See that one's the one I brought is not the one that's really hot. There, I do have some. No, it's mango habanero. But it's good. Is it good? Good. Yeah. Glad to hear that. So this is um, <clears throat> it's like sweet with like a little bit of a kick, but mm -hmm. not not really yeah. spicy. Yeah. So um, I think it's funny that you said like how you turn this on. Everybody always asks me that, and I'm like, this stove used to be in every house. <laughs> <laughs> with a gas stove yes and so uh you know and everybody's is so different nowadays because there are so many different oh i know i wish i had gases in here but we don't have a propane tank and you know we're in quinlan so oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. we don't have atmos out here <laughs> atmos come to quinlan <laughs> oh is that how you say it atmos i guess I, I, that's how i say it. it i always just said atmos i don't know why however you say it you know uh, can i yeah. spoon of course <laughs> Oh, this war too. Okay. okay. Whichever. Oh, that one will scratch there. Oh, hold on. I got a plastic one. Oopsie. Here we go. That's okay. As my sister would say, oopsie. oopsie. I hate that I picked that up from her. That's okay. <laughs> okay, so while she is stirring that up, I'm going to show you what goes in the quesadillas, but like, it's super simple. These are going to be um, just cheese and veggie quesadillas because there's going to be chicken in the soup, and my kids like cheese better anyway, so I'm just going to make theirs with cheese just to kind of do theirs. Um something for them. So I'm going to put mushrooms. I already cut, sliced them up. And I'm also going to put some onions and bell peppers in there as well. So I have, um, I have one of these. What are these called? I don't know. Flat griddle? Yes. It's, it, well, it's a griddle, but for your stove, like, so you can get the ones that plug in. I like to do quesadillas, grilled cheese, mm -hmm. stuff like that on here because I can do multiple and it all fit in the pan. And, and I like this stove for that or a gas stove. 
But when you have glass top, it scratches it, so you can't do it. I know, that's so why. That's, that's, that's one of the reasons why I haven't switched over to glass is because I like to use cast iron a mm -hmm. lot, and you can't do it. On you glass can't top. do that on glass mm -hmm. top. So I'm kind of torn because I really, 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 really want a new stove. Do you really, really want a new stove? I really, really <laughs> like. It's almost like the, it's really like the Spice Girl song. Yeah. You know, like almost like that. Like I, I don't, I don't remember exactly how it goes, but that was a Spice Girl song. Um, and so I just, I, I haven't gotten one yet because I still want to be able to use mm -hmm. my cast iron. Yeah. So I've thought about if I do get a new stove, maybe just getting like a hot plate, like burner oh, yeah, uh -huh. where you hook the propane directly mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. So that way, whenever I want to cook something with that, I can still can. Yeah. But that's later on. That works well. Um, so... Um, I'm also going to make some guacamole to go with the uh, things. And all I do to make my guacamole is I make pico first and then mix it in with the avocado. So if you don't know, pico has mm. onions, tomatoes, cilantro, and fresh jalapenos. And mm. then um, I put a little bit of cavender seasoning, which I always use. Do you know what that is? Uh, I've it? seen it, but I think it's been a long time since I've seen it. Hold on, let me... Let me pull it out. Oh, and speaking I, of seasonings. I put this, <laughs> I put this on everything. everything. Like, almost everything. It's either this or some I have dressing seen and spice. Well, and see, and I grew up with Paul's, uh, Tony Sachery's. Yeah, this is different. This is my, that's a Cajun seasoning. Oh, that's seasoning. Greek. This is Greek. Greek. Yeah, okay. And mm -hmm. it's, it, I don't know what's in it, but it's amazing. I guess I could look. Salt, black pepper, garlic, oregano, parsley, and five other spices. It just says, and five <laughs> other spices. <laughs> But this is so good. Oh, look, David knows the song. <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt oh, to sing. Oh, tell me what I want. Whatever, David. Oh, I'm not tell me what it. you want. Okay. So, uh, reminds me on Facebook yesterday, they had the Louisiana Spice Girls. They were all dressed like Tabasco or Tony Sachery's or oh, that's some good. of the other Louisiana spices. It was hilarious. Yeah, let me see something on all these burners. <clears throat> It'll burn up in a second. Cool. My kids are sometimes in charge of cleaning the kitchen and they don't do a very good job. And then I'm like, um, girls, I have my cooking show tomorrow. Like, what are you doing? And there they are. One of them. Okay. So well, she's doing that. I, we, we, we have some seasonings too. It's different from the Greek seasonings, but I, and I've talked about this on our Facebook page a lot is okay. daddy seasoning. Okay. And my husband loves, well, we both do. I'm not going to lie. We both love the it's called the yellow seasoning i don't really okay. know what it is but it's the yellow seasoning and we use it for everything but we mainly use it to put on potatoes and then we bake them uh we chop them up put the butter on top put this on top and it this has got a kick and it. it is so good i wonder if the, let, let me see that i wonder if this is kind of like the salt grass seasoning that i use oh it doesn't say there's salt spices dehydrated garlic okay <laughs> I was just wondering because I salt the salt grass seasoning that I mm -hmm. use. I used to work there uh, in the steakhouse. Oh, their ribeyes, and they have um, they sell their seasoning there. Oh, they do. But you can also buy their seasoning at Berkshire's and Kroger. I didn't know that. Yeah, so you it's it's weird because it's not it's not I don't think it's in the seasoning aisle at Berkshire's. I think it's by the steak sauce. Yeah, it's kind mm -hmm. of a weird spot to have yeah. it, but it's good too. Yeah, um, and that's I what I normally put on there. I'll have to steak. try salt some rest. of that daddy's uh, <laughs> stuff. It's good. Okay, Good. so I'm gonna go ahead and like uh, just saute these vegetables really quick to go on the quesadillas, and then I'm gonna use the same pan. I'm gonna take them off and put the quesadillas on it to save dishes for later. My husband loves mushrooms. You like loves mushrooms? Them. Yeah, I, I do like mushrooms, but I like the other stuff more. I think. Okay. I like the onions and the bell peppers. And yeah. <clears throat> I like crispy onions. Like when I get the fajitas, I want the crispy. The oh, the, the, crisp. the burnt ones? Yes, the burnt ones are so good. <laughs> they are. So, um, I guess while this is going, we can mm -hmm. show them just some of the stuff that you have brought from the store to show. Yeah. So she brought some stuff that they have in the store. If you haven't been to their store yet, um, please stop by. They have some super cute stuff. Um, last time I went, they had uh, so much home decor that I wanted to buy. Uh, she said it was too big to bring. That's what yeah, said, it was right? really hard to choose which one. <laughs> well, I love I love home decor anyway, and so to walk around and figure out what it was that I was wanted to bring, and then to see how big it was, and then you know to bring it back and forth. So I, I bought a whole bunch of little 
bitty item. So yeah. we got some new caps in. Uh, I love this one. It's got the black and white pattern to it, kind of like the Buffalo check, but I mean, but it, instead of red and black, it's white and black. <clears throat> and then uh, we've got some cute, I love this brown color, and of course it's the weathered, kind of torn look on the caps, but um, this one says saved, and this one says pray, believe, and trust. And do we want to give one of these away today? Yes, yeah, so for the giveaway for next week, um, if you share the video, and if you haven't liked the House Divided page yet, go and like it. So that's two things. And then comment below if you want to be entered twice. Oh, good. So that way um, you can get some likes, yeah. and get some shares, and then, you know, we'll that'll, just go from there. That'll be great. And we're um, also going to give away a gift card tonight. So yes. give away a cap and a gift card. Yes. So uh, some things we got in today are some Lake Tawakini shirts. Because I'm a big lake person, and I don't see many Lake Tawakini t-shirts when I walk into different places around here. Yeah. And so, so we made, so I said, okay, I'm, let's order some. So I got some tanks. And we've got this shirt. This is kind of, it's called a Heather Gray, but it doesn't look blue to you. It feels kind really of blue. soft. It, this is that like soft, really comfy. kind of real yeah. thin, thin kind. And then, of course, we've got the uh, tie-dye shirt. This is, tie-dye is always popular. It, it's, it's, you'd think it's not timeless, but it seems to be timeless. But uh, all of them say like to walk me on it. And uh, we've got all sizes. You'll have to come in and get those. Yes. So we'll give one of these away. No, I'm sorry. We're giving the cap away. And, and the gift uh, card. And the gift card. Yeah. Right. And, of course, we do carry some type of boutique-ish items. We have some purses. Uh, and I think I, I get whatever items I like. Yeah. So when wow, I that's, look right, that's what I do. That's what I get. So. <laughs> Uh, so these are the ones that I liked when I when I found these, but I like the ones that have the kind of a cowhide look. And uh, this was kind of a horizontal one, but they all have the straps and they're the crossbody ones. So uh, a lot of people will come in and they'll buy these when they want to go gambling because they they want it, you know, close to them. They don't have to carry a clunky purse. Well, I use these all the time. That's the only mm -hmm. kind of like the crossbody mm -hmm. is the only purse I carry now. Mainly because my other one, it gets too heavy. Like, my yeah, bigger ones get yeah. too heavy. They hurt my shoulder. Mm -hmm. And because it's easier for me whenever I'm going to show houses or something like that, just to put it on, right. have it, have what I need right there. Mm -hmm. And if I carry a big purse, I carry so much junk. <laughs> I do, too. I'm like, oh, I need to put my whole life in here before I leave. Yeah. And I'm still one of the ones, I still carry around my makeup with me. Do you do that? I don't just because I don't like if I did I don't put it on and so. I never touch it during the day I put I carry it hardly ever. with me and sometimes I'll put an eyeliner in there yeah but that's yeah. it and and if I don't have on makeup I, whenever I leave the house I'm, it's not going on <laughs> honestly I put on my makeup going to work and that's so sad that I do in the car yeah like while you're driving mm -hmm. It's not. I put on my my bags. I'm already you know, a bad like, driver. You know, I don't have. I can't. I can't. I, I'm not putting on my eye makeup. I do wait until I get to work. If I go okay. in early, I'll I'll do my makeup. But mostly when I get like to work. at red lights, or do <laughs> are you at least like stuck in traffic or something? If if I go if if I go in late, yeah, I'm gonna get stuck in traffic. But I don't do that a lot. Okay. I, I'm lucky. I have former neighbors that I get to stay with. I work in Dallas or I work in Richardson. So it's an hour drive every day. So I have a tendency to stay up there a couple of nights a week and I get to visit with them and uh, Valerie cooks a lot. That's who you really should do a cooking show with is my, is my neighbor Val. Yeah. She's so yeah, she's, she loves that. And there's a, there's a website called homesick Texan uh -huh. and like anything that's on there, she's going to like, it's that kind of, it's just good. She's, she likes yeah. Southwest food a lot, but she's a great cook. And, um, and Linda is a neighbor of ours. We lived in condos. Okay. Well, they still live there. I don't because I moved to the lake. But Because um, I love the lake. Because the lake is fun. <laughs> because the lake is fun. And it's very nice to look at when you have a stressful day and you get to come home. Do you guys live on out. the lake? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, but uh, Linda comes down and it's just, it's, it's almost like you live in college dorms almost when you live in condos because you get to know your neighbors that way. Uh, but we have a lot of, we have have had a lot of good times and we still do but so I stay with them and um Val cooks and she's a great cook awesome those um, are looking good yes they are I so. like it when the onions start to get a little transparent yes so they're getting transparent and I'll probably cook them a little bit longer just for you oh thanks you're welcome <laughs> um so oh they also have like cool signs oh, yeah. so Metal signs my that. tip for this week is some staging tips oh, so yeah. um the main thing you're going to want to do whenever you're getting ready to sell your house is declutter. So, like, you see all this stuff on the counter? 
I'm sure you can. I mean, there's not really, it's mostly just, this is trash, right? Okay, yes. So we'll get rid of that. But the main thing is, is to declutter the home so you can keep your appliances on the counter, like your toaster, um, your coffee pot, any, I guess you could leave your coffee pot out because people like coffee. But I know a lot of people just have so much stuff mm -hmm. on their counters. So the main thing you're going to want to do is take all that off. Um, you're also going to want to organize your drawers and your closets um, because they're buying the whole house, so they're going to open those. Um, and not that that's going to keep people from buying the house, it just helps you present the home a little bit better. Um, the goal of staging your home is to make it look like someone lives there, but you don't live there. So if you have any pictures hanging up, if you have um, of yourself, you can replace those with um, paintings. I've even seen some people um, take the photo out and um, like do like a not holiday wrapping paper, but if it's uh, if it's got the border uh -huh. on the frame, you could just put a piece of wrapping paper in there and hang that up over oh, the picture. Yeah, yeah. Um, just so um, you want to pack everything that you don't need in the home. Um, so if you normally use paper plates all the time, mm -hmm. pack your dishes. If you normally, because I, I mean, we use paper plates here a lot. I, the only time we don't actually is if we're eating like steak or something mm -hmm. that you have to cut. Yeah. Um, we were just talking about that in the, in the office the other day about using paper plates because it is so easy and I do that at home. And I'm not going to, I don't want to And I love dishes. my plates because there's, I, I just love my plates, but I don't like washing them. But, and, but the, but the main goal is to, um, just take those things off the count, like take your stuff off the counters Clean your bathroom up. Make sure your beds are made every day if, you're, if you know your house is going to be getting shown. Make sure the house is clean. Um, some people actually recommend you have a professional cleaner come in, but you can do it yourself if you um, don't want to spend the money on that or if you don't have time to do that. But you need to keep your, your house clean. And if you have um, pets, you're going to want to put those up um, somehow or take them with you or if you're... Kennel them or something? Kennel, either kennel them or... Um, you know, if it's dirt on the weekend, you can take them to a dog park or something oh, yeah. while the house is being shown. Um, and then I have a few things that I can suggest, like, um, just get some cheap, these are just silk flowers. You could do fresh if you wanted or greenery and just put it like, instead of, like, instead of this being here or not, probably not here. I probably wouldn't put this here, but. Um, I would actually probably put this like, right here on the island where, oh, that would look right where the camera is mm -hmm. right now. So I would put this, you know, somewhere like over here or something yeah. like that. Um, just to, to make it look homey. And then I also have these. And these things are like, these are things that you can do. I mean, these are essentially just mason jars that have rocks in them. Um, and so you can just put these across the table or by your fireplace or something like that. But you're, if you have like, so my kitchen is, is in roosters, I would take all that stuff down. Yeah, that's a good point. I know that I, my husband and I, we like to go on realtor.com or any of those places mm -hmm. and look at houses because we, we just, my goal is to have a log house one day. So we're nice. always looking at different houses. But I think what you said is so true that, because uh, yeah. when you look at a house without furniture, you can't get a good idea of what will fit or whatever, or or if I see something that's cluttered, and I actually saw a house like that the other day where there was just stuff everywhere in their bedroom, and I thought, why would they put those pictures online? Because I don't know how it's gonna sell. <clears throat> Surely it did, but you know, that's just me. Or maybe it didn't. <laughs> it did. But yeah, I think you're but, right though, when you take all that stuff off, and I know when I do it at home, it looks so much better. Yeah, I, I mean, and, and it's, <clears throat> but yeah, it does look, it you know, you, it you have better. to live in your home, but at the end of the day, there's, thing, there's things that don't need to be there, and, um, Another good thing is, it's like, oh, so I have a mail holder. Like, obviously, I would take that mail out of the mail holder. Oh, yeah. Because I, I pile it on in there, guys. <laughs> like, there's a newspaper in there, bills, whatever I get in the mail. I don't even, I get my stuff in the mail, I get the bills out, and then I throw everything in there. Was that supposed to save some chicken? No. Oh, okay. We're just going to do veggie and veggie and cheese, okay. quesadillas, just because um, there's already chicken in the soup, so you're okay. good. Um, but... Um, that's, those are my tips and, um, you know, mainly the main thing is organizing your stuff. Uh, little baskets are good for your pantry and also those cloth, um, what are they? Those little, like cloth bins. 
that you can oh, buy yeah. that are super yeah. cheap. You mm -hmm. can get that and throw some stuff in there so that way it's not out everywhere. Um, and I know everybody has a junk drawer. I have like three in here. So, you know, but, but, and that wouldn't stop me from buying a house by seeing someone's junk drawer. But what I'm saying is that it presents better. Yeah, if, people are going to go through the drawers and look and see how much space is there. And because if you're like me, I want, I like those drawers that come out and roll back in. So mm -hmm. I would be one of those people that are pulling out the drawers. Pulling out the drawers see. and looking in the closet. So that's, you know, like if you have yeah. stuff that's loose in your closet, those bins are great. For, for that like mm -hmm. I have uh, like my tank tops and stuff I have yeah. a shelf in there and they're just in there so mm -hmm. if I were getting ready to sell my house I would put those in a bin so that it looks yeah. neat mm -hmm. okay I use the big tortillas so I don't have to use um, a bunch of it so I can just so you don't have to make 10 different tortillas right because you can just use tortillas. this and fold it in half um, so and it makes the same amount as two of the smaller tortillas where's the cheese so we have um, Colby and Monterey Jack cheese, and I'll probably use some of this mild cheddar that Lisa brought here in a minute when I run out of this. Oh, no, I need some. Oh, sorry. Here, sorry. Um, so I'm going to put some of this in here, just cheese, and then I'm just going to throw the veggies in there on top of it and then put up maybe a little bit more cheese and then fold it over and cook it on each side. It looks so good. Yeah, so I wouldn't normally do, I would do like a steak or chicken quesadilla or shrimp, but since there's already chicken in the soup, there's really no use in... And, I can't and, wait to see how that Cavender's seasoning makes the vegetables taste. Oh, I didn't put any on there. Oh, you did I put it, no, I, I put that in my guacamole, actually. Oh, sorry. No, that's I can't okay. wait to try it in the avocado. I may have sprinkled then. a little bit on there. I'm not I sure. Be good. Good. Did I? Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so, then you just cook this... I'll pull it over a little bit. I can do another, and I can do another one while this is cooking. That's why I like to use um, this griddle thing. It's getting a little smoky. So, a couple weeks ago, I blackened steaks for Valentine's uh -huh. Day, and we don't have a vina hood here. Yeah. And oh, no. I it was so <laughs> smoky. I was like, we're like, we're like doing this. Me and my friend. It was so funny. Oh. So. Um, yeah, that was awesome. Guilty of that. Opening up all the windows, opening up the I was like, doors. I'm going to go open this back door really <laughs> quick. Yeah. So, um, you know, there we go. Well, and all I did with my soup was I just added the chicken. After it simmered for about 15 minutes, you kind of bring it to a boil. Oh, and it's then nice you let and it thick, simmer. too. You let it simmer for about 15 minutes. That's what I love about these mixes is they're so easy. Uh, and, you know... And what I like, my husband even took a mix one night. I wasn't when I wasn't home, and he made something, and he loved it. I think he had the corn chowder. Uh, no, he had the tortilla soup. But we even have a gluten free soup. But uh, yeah, this kind of got yeah. thick, and I like it. I can't wait to put it in a bowl and add some sour cream. Gluten and, and vegan fr friendly vegetable soup. So you use vegetable broth. Oh, it says. Oh, I guess. Well, for the non-vegans, you would add chicken. You would add chicken for, to this for the non-vegans. Rotisserie That's chicken, funny. not canned. <laughs> You're right. Um, if you were not vegan, you could also use chicken broth. Um, and then you can put zucchini and corn. Ooh, that would be so mm -hmm. good. So, um, so the That's cheese good. is melted. The quesadilla mm -hmm. is brown. And so that's done. And all I'm going to do whenever Yum. it's done. Hey, since y'all are over here, can you go get me a cutting board, please? Sure. Thank you. Please. Oh, her sweet daughters. Oh, my, that's a little burnt. That's okay. They can't that's even okay. see it. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay. I have a, a guy that works with me. His name is David, too. And he says that if I don't say it with my mouth, everybody's going to tell by the look on my face. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I would have I, I given it up with my face. I don't know. I, I don't know how <laughs> And I think it was because I was cooking this one and there was nothing on yeah. there for so long. That's okay. I'll eat it. It'll be fine. Uh, and, you know, there are some things, like like I said the other uh, while ago, is that the, like when you cook the onions till they're burnt, some things are just a good burnt. Yeah. I like that. Probably not. Sausage good. is another thing that if you get it a little burnt. Oh, I love, I, and my hot dog, like on the grill. Oh, like when you. When you grill it. Okay. Okay. I got it. I like it. I understand, yes. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah. Like that. I had to think about that for a second. But yeah, I get it. And you know, when you, uh, and I haven't done this in so long where you, you know, you, you put your hot dog over the fire and roast it. Oh yeah. I haven't done that in so long. That was always fun. And then you burn it. You do that. I mean, you don't really do that in, unless you have kids in the house. Like, I mean. Yeah. Or you're at a campfire, yeah. which is going to be fun because um, the girls and are going camping with Noah and I for the first time. Where are you going? We're going to the Dearly's <laughs> <laughs> over spring break. I hate this. You hate it. Oh, I love going out in nature and go outdoors. To the nature. I want to see a pig on two legs. You want to see a pig on two legs? Yeah, because. Uh, Noah's friend Tristan told us about it. Oh, he said there was a weird hog out there that, like, I guess it <laughs> didn't have that leg. So it was doing a handstand. And when you wanted to sit down, he would sit down with his dog. Oh, my gosh. No, I haven't seen that. I, I guess they said they saw it on one of their game cameras. The, I don't know, but there were some big old hogs out there. I can't believe how bad the hogs have gotten. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't want anything to do with hogs. I, I just don't like They have eating got bit by a hog. Who did? Katie? Got okay. bitten by a dog? By Katie who? Pig. Oh, by a pig. I don't yeah. think it. My papa used to have pigs. Oh, I used to have a pig. Did? His name was Bacon <laughs> Bit. Because someone stole him. Bacon <laughs> Bit. The bacon, bacon Bit. It was a baby pig. That's obviously. hilarious. It was not in this house. If it wasn't a baby... Um, okay, so these are still, these are almost done. I'm not going to burn so these That is so quick. Yeah, that super really quick. quick. Quesadillas are I've made so quick. Before. I make these whenever I make taco soup mm -hmm. or um, if I make tortilla soup. Like, just because I oh, always yeah. like to have something to, like, dip mm -hmm. in my soup. So, for me, it's like, if, if I have any kind of, like, Spanish-ish uh -huh. kind of soup, I make the quesadillas with it. Oh, that's good. So, you know how you do tomato soup and grilled cheese? Mm -hmm. I do quesadillas with, like, taco soup. And See, I prefer soup. that more than I would the tomato soup and the grilled cheese. That's never been a favorite of mine. I'm the only one that likes that here, so... Um, and I don't I don't like it all the time. I like it occasionally. But I do like an adult grilled cheese, like, with bacon or maybe brisket or something on it. And I love to use the different cheeses. Yes, that like my husband will not eat. Like I love Gouda the uh, feta. Yeah, Ooh, Gouda. That is good. That is one of my favorites, Ooh, actually. So, so good. Off. Love that. Um, Gouda is one of my favorite cheeses it's ever. Really good. Um, I when I make uh, like shrimp and grits or something like that. Oh, you like that? Mm -hmm. I put Gouda cheese in the grits. Oh, I bet that's so good. It's it's like so so like. It's so stinking good. I, I just stinking <laughs> good. I, I don't, like that's the only way I know how to describe it. Okay. I love grits. So I don't you like add them shrimp plain. to it. Just makes it so great. I don't. I don't like plain grits. Like with the, you know how people will eat them with. Um, do you eat yours with like butter and sugar? No. Okay. I don't put sugar in it. I put salt. I okay. Like with butter so and salt. I don't like them with butter and sugar like making them like sweet mm -hmm. and I don't really like them plain either so um but that's okay and I, I like <laughs> to put cheese in mine I like cheese grits oh yeah Yay. yeah that's so good that's I so love good. but there is nothing grits. better than going to a greasy spoon and getting a full-blown breakfast and getting those grits with butter oh, I don't even like grits. like a like a Denny's or a oh like, like a I hop or, yeah. okay okay Mama. but those hole in the wall places that yes. are called Greasy Spoon. I mean, you know there's a reason oh, there's why there's a place <laughs> called Greasy Spoon. I didn't know there was a place called Greasy Spoon. Well, there is, but I usually call breakfast places Greasy Spoons, I guess. But Okay. Mom, Mom, I don't even like grits. You, of course you don't. You're so missing out. Okay. I love grits. So, That's whenever I make my um, guacamole, first I just make pico. So, I already cut everything up like I always do for y'all, so that way you don't have to listen to me all night. So I'm actually going to probably make a pretty good amount of this because I'll leave it in the fridge for a couple days or for we'll no probably one. put some on top of the soup or something. Um, so I have onions and this is probably, oh wait, this is one cup or no, probably about half a cup of cut chopped onions. I don't put a whole bunch of onions in mine because the kids don't really like it that much. Um, and then cilantro oh i love cilantro this is this is a cup of cilantro i love cilantro too um 
And then tomatoes. This is two tomatoes. I might be, well, since I'm making the pico first and then I'll move it over to the guacamole. That is a lot, Mom. Yeah, it is. Lots and then okay. this. Y'all don't have to eat it if you don't want to. We'll, uh, we'll share that. And then this is three jalapenos. I don't know how much, this doesn't like, it's not measured, so it's just three. Three jalapenos seeded. Mm. I always uh, de-seed and de-vein them. So that way, um, so that way later on you, uh, so it's not so spicy, like so super hot. If you want it to be hot, leave them in. Do it. <coughs> Do it. Do okay. it. I'll leave them in, mommy. I love guacamole, and I didn't like it till I was an adult. As a child, I guess you don't. Have well, a lot of a lot of kids do these days. I didn't have the palate for it. I thought it tasted very weird. But as an adult, oh, avocados, yeah. avocados. Oh. I, still I don't like avocados. Like okay, so then I'm gonna put some cavender seasoning just in here. You get some. Try it. I love cream. So her girls are asking if they can try the cream cheese with the jalapeno jelly. I wish yes. the camera were on them. I'd I love to see their faces yeah. when they try it. <clears throat> uh, you can oh, she's just, here. She's scraping off and getting the cream cheese. You can, oh, you didn't eat the... You didn't Are you getting the jelly? Try the jelly. Here, you might love you it. Did. Here, come over. You want to try it in front of the camera? No, it's good. Okay, not today? No, she doesn't want she to. She normally loves to come on on this cooking show. We, when we made a barbecue, we made a keto-friendly pizza one time just uh -huh. to... Because, um, you know, everybody's doing keto, mm -hmm. and I was trying to do low-carb at the mm -hmm. time. And then I decided uh, I'm gonna eat carbs on on Wednesdays at least, <laughs> just on Wednesdays, <laughs> and sometimes the other days. <laughs> um, oh, Bill says I love guacamole. Me too. It's so good. It's gonna go so good with these quesadillas that we made too. All right, so I'm putting one lime in here, and then I'm just gonna mix this up, and it'll be ready to go. All right, and then I'm just gonna. Put it in the guacamole. Oh, girls, there's a lemon over there in that bowl. Will you please go grab it for me? In yeah. the bowl. The whole thing of jelly is sweet. Yes, it is. It's sweet. It, yeah. Do you, do you kind of taste the little the kick there? A little hot? Yeah, a little bit good. hot. Okay. It's not too hot. But it's just enough. This one I think they have yes, more honey. cream cheese than they do cracker. <laughs> oh, I'm sure they do. That's <laughs> that's how they roll. I know. Who doesn't love cream cheese? Yeah, they would. She loves cheese in general. She actually likes blue cheese and Parmesan cheese and feta cheese. My now, I'm not a big blue cheese fan. I, I, I am. I, love blue cheese. I don't like it on everything, but like on a burger or a wedge salad. Uh -huh. I'll eat it. And I don't, You'll eat it. I, I don't, but I don't put it, like if I do a wedge salad, I don't do like blue cheese dressing and blue cheese crumbles. Mm -hmm. A dog will eat that later. It'll be fine. <laughs> Brutus. Um, no, Brutus? Gibson is oh. actually in his team because he doesn't behave when people are here. How many dogs do you have? We have two, two dogs. Brutus and, what'd you say, Daniel? Gibson. 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 Where did I get Daniel from? I have no idea. Gibson, okay. <laughs> um, and, and what is Gibson? What kind of dog? Boxer. White boxer. White boxer. And Brutus is a mixed breed. Is, is a what? Mixed breed. Oh, okay. But those are the best kind. They are very loyal. Those are the best That's kind. That's because nobody else would take them in. <laughs> my husband's gotten on a kick where he's watching these sad dog videos where Ew. they've gotten down to bones and then somebody takes the dogs in and they feed them and then they come become these loving dogs but it's so sad. what is it hope for pies i don't know my uncle actually I don't know what it's called. my uncle <laughs> it's funny that you say that my uncle actually just um adopted a um grunkle dad they call him grunkle because it's his great <laughs> great uncle oh <laughs> <laughs> um, so they, um, so he adopted a pit bull that had been left at a shelter that had been shot and she was missing a leg. Well, what's, I think it's her left, her left front leg. Uh -huh. Well, he was born with his, with no forearm so, oh and on his left uh -huh. side. So he took her in and he's gotten so much media attention oh my just from adopting mm -hmm. a dog like out of his own heart, he's you know? Oh. He was on the news oh a couple goodness. of times and then there was another like uh, <laughs> TV show that featured it and they were like, get ready to ugly cry oh and gosh. you know, cause it was I such a sweet, cry. sweet story, you yeah. know? Um, and he was like, if you don't cry with this story, then you don't have a heart. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. 
<laughs> there's also this um, thing on the Hope for Claws. There's this little guy. His he was a tiny dog. Somebody cut off his foot and threw him in a river. Oh, okay, awesome. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put the avocados into this pico. I moved half of it over, so then we can have just some pico and then the rest guacamole. Oh, I love pico. I love both of these things, and they're good. They're very versatile for everything. You can put guacamole on a burger. You can put pico on a whatever you want. I love. Uh, I get one of my favorite meals is a Jason's deli baked potato with pico, and that oh. will just be so good. I love pico, and my my brother-in-law makes the best pico. Oh, it's so good. Oh, wow. Like and I don't know pico. what seasoning he uses in his, but I know he uses something. But so we, we, we go through that stuff. It doesn't take us long to get through that stuff. Nice. It's so good. All so right. So good. So, um, how's the soup coming? The Still soup is done? ready. It's soup's thick. Done. Uh, yeah, I've got the chicken in it. You can see the seasonings in it. It looks so good. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. I know I'm excited too. And we're, what are you gonna? Are we gonna put anything on top of that? I, I've got sour cream. I like sour cream in mine because I like it a little bit uh, creamy. And then I've got some cilantro that you can garnish it with, and then definitely just some more cheese because you can't you, know, you can't never get enough cheese, right? You gotta cheese, add some more cheese. cheese, to it. cheese. All right, so I'm just getting these avocados out, and then I'm gonna put uh, some lemon juice, and then probably um, some cavender seasoning. And oh, I need to get some garlic and put in there. That's another thing. Hey, do y'all just... like pickles? No, I don't. You do. You just don't want to try this kind. What? Is Admit it, it. You like pickles. You just don't want to try. I only like some kind. I only like. Is it hot? These are so good. They're hot diggity deals. Yes, they're no! hot. Yeah, you don't want to try them. They're hot. So they're not like spiced pickles. They're actually spicy pickles. Like, spicy pickles. Because I got some spiced pickles one time, thinking <clears throat> that they were going to be hot. And they were actually just like almost like bread and butter. Oh, we got like from some cloves. Mm, it, yeah, I guess so. It was weird. Probably. Yeah. Probably. And I got this huge jar because I got it from Costco. <laughs> so it was like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> I've got the Costco bottle of jalapenos sitting in my pantry. It's like that's gonna last gonna me eat. for eight years. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Costco. So, what are we going? Um, Oh, let me finish this up and then we will, if you want, I can, we can get a bowl and you can go ahead sure. and show them how to sure. garnish if you want. Yeah. Uh, right here to the left, maybe. You need the wine bowl? Use that big one, yeah. yeah. That'd be fine. Well, okay. And a ladle. Oh. And... Oh, you know what would be good to put on that is a little pico. Yep. Yeah, that you would be awesome. Put some on there. Careful, Mom. Don't drop it. That's true. This is that. a nifty thing. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I like it for that. like beans. It's got it's got some little slots in there, oh, and I don't even cool. know how I came across that honestly. That's uh, um, pretty clever. It really is. It's really like I really love it for um, soups that are really brothy, and you know how you feel like you're getting all broth and no vegetables or no yeah. chicken or noodles or whatever is in it. So I really love it for that actually. All right. So. A dollop. Y'all know that song, A Dollop? No. Oh, never mind. They're too young for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese on here, and then we'll try to... That's going to be hard to kind of show the camera, because the soup's going to kind of go out. <laughs> oh, what I do is I just kind of do, like, from, like, kind of oh, flat okay, like that, good. and then push it up there instead of... Okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to... Um, I'm going to scoop out a little bit of that. That, um, that just looks too good not to fit in there. Like oh, for sure. Mama. And uh, like I was saying, oh, I can turn it off. Mommy, did you hear KK? Oh, I can move the camera that way. Oh, that's okay. Okay, so um, I always use a whisk to mash it, mm -hmm. mash the guacamole. Um, I used to use a fork. I don't know why, but um, this works a lot bad, uh, better and faster. Mm -hmm. And then it still leaves it chunky. So, um, okay, let me show them the soup. Can y'all see that? Oh, that looks oh, yeah. so good. That looks really good. So, yeah. so what I was telling you is that uh, Kimberly from work said what she did was she didn't put the chicken in there. She had uh, 
cooked some ground beef and then she put it in there because her husband really wanted the beef part and then added some pasta so she put some noodles in there and let it cook and she said it was so good so it kind of reminded me of hamburger helper but tastes totally different because i oh. ended up doing that when i got home and i thought oh this is gonna taste like hamburger helper because i grew up with hamburger helper so i didn't really want to taste that but it was, oh, yeah. it, it was really good it was really I don't, great i don't particularly care for hamburger helper that much either uh, i'm gonna try this you never tried it um I can't, I don't, I can't remember if it was this or the tortilla soup I've had. My favorite's the jalapeno chowder. It is so good, but it's so hot. Oh, it's super spicy? Mm. Mm. All right, so, so Oh my gosh. If you want any of these soups, uh, she just has different kinds. Are these the only kinds that you have or you have more? Uh, I have more at the store. I have corn chowder. That's cheddar There's a potato. cheddar potato mix. Um, there is the gluten uh, and vegan one. friendly soup no, if you want that. And you can also add chicken to make it not vegan. Yeah. Um, and then she also has some no bake chocolate chip cheesecake mix. And that's oh, really good. Yeah, we should have made and that. I know. <laughs> and I actually made this the other day. And I kept thinking, you know what? I don't think this is chocolatey enough. So I added about three tablespoons of chocolate syrup to it. And it was so good. Everybody at the office loved it. Uh, I, I make them my I need to go work with you so I can get some <laughs> snacks. Yay. Well, it's not because, of, well, I made that one. Yay. Maria, really, she's just, she's the one that cooks a lot. And she brings us a lot of desserts that we shouldn't no, be eating, but well. it's so good. We beg her to bring them. <laughs> we should be eating them. We beg her to bring them. Okay, so I'm just going to mash this up. And then I, once I mash mm. the avocados, I'm just going to stir it because oh, so this good. bowl is too small for what I got going on it over here, mm. as usual. I always do this to myself. Um, so, mm. see that pico, that cilantro? God, that makes it. Did you know? So good. And, I, and I've had this conversation when I used cilantro before, but apparently there are people that love cilantro, and then there are people that don't like cilantro because they think that it tastes like soap. And I hear that from a lot yes, of people. Right. Linda Beatty, are you watching? Linda is a, one of my neighbors that I talked about that I see a couple of times a week, and she hates cilantro. Uh, Linda, if you're watching, does it taste like soap to you? Is that true? Yeah. I, I, I don't know that I've ever heard that. I have heard it multiple times. It like it's really kind of crazy, it's actually. It's okay, so then we got the guacamole, and I'm gonna cut up these um, quesadillas. Y'all are not gonna like this. You better not eat it. Mama. <laughs> Mama. I'm gonna cut up these quesadillas, and the way that I cut them, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can kind of get. I just cut it into triangles. So these are like this. And I'm just gonna cut it across right here, and you're probably not gonna be able to see, but I don't want to put. Mama. I don't know if the stove is cooled off enough for me to put that mat on there. So just, just like you get at Taco Bell. <laughs> Honestly, I'm sure they taste better than Taco mm -hmm. Bell. Though. Yes, for sure. They, yes. You know, every time I get the one, I've gotten them from Taco Mommy. Bell before, um, and they actually taste soggy. Oh really? For, I guess they put them on like this paper wrapper, and they just, they just don't taste very good. So if I were doing this for um, like a party or something like that, then I would put the guacamole like in the center of a plate and I'm using the red one. I know I normally use white, but, and then I would do the quesadillas all the way around. Oh, that looks really good. And um, just keep going and then stack. Them. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and then I'll show you what's going on. Um, Mama. Yes. Uh, she's letting you all do the talking while she's eating her soup. Hey, uh, okay, that's okay. So while she's doing that, I'll tell you about something else that we have at our store. We just got this in. This is called Skip's Mix Bloody Mary Mix, Ooh. and um, you take this and you add it to some, uh, you know, tomato juice and whatever you know you want to put in there. But uh, we had this sampling. Uh, we we allowed people to sample this on um, Saturday, Saturday, and people loved it. It was really nice. Good. Really I was not a Bloody Mary person, but I'm not either. Um, Bloody Mary, scary. <laughs> That's not. It's a drink, it's a drink honey. It's oh. an adult beverage. I thought you meant the. All right, so I'm gonna do since these are on. Um, there's cheese and veggie. I'll do the veggie on one side and the cheese on the other. Um, so that way they don't get mixed up, but these are going to be super good. Are you a veggie quesadilla person or are you a cheese quesadilla person? Or a chicken. Let us know. 
Chicken. Or chicken. Or chicken. So this, so you, if you did this on a bigger plate, it would look better. You could actually put like sour cream and salsa, or and maybe salsa. even some pico in in here, and do it on a larger plate. I just grabbed this one because it was right there. Um, but that would, that's what I would do if I were doing this, like for a bunch of people. That looks really good. And, so, and the, the, I can't wait to try. Do that. you want to try one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let me do that. That's the cheese if the, you want the one with the vegetables. Oh, no, that's good. Okay. Oh, okay. she wants to try the guacamole with the <laughs> cavenders. Oh, let me get this. <laughs> I can't get it. Here, wait. Here, here, oh, here. Yeah, just use that one. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. God, that lime really makes it taste so good. Awesome. And I like the seasoning. It's good, right? Mm hmm Okay, so. It's so good. Um, do you have anything else you want to show them? I don't think so. I think I've showed them everything. All right. Awesome. Well, don't forget to share the video and like the house divided. A house divided. Oh, a house divided. I'm sorry. I keep <laughs> doing okay. that. Um, and um, comment below if you want to be entered two times in the drawing for the $25 gift card and the hat. That's right. So um, I don't have anything else for you. Um, if you know anybody that's looking to buy, sell, rent, or invest in real estate, have them give me a call. I would love to help them. And if you know anybody that needs home decor or gifts, um, go to A House Divided. And I will see you guys next Wednesday at 7. Bye. Bye.